And with that, we say good evening. I'm Larry Smith. Nancy Cox has the evening off. It has been a week of sadness in Scott County following the shooting death of Sheriff's Deputy Caleb Conley on Monday. LEX 18's Michael Burke spoke with the man who hired Conley about how he's managing to lead the agency while finding some time to process this tragedy. That's tonight's big story at six. This was really the first time Sheriff Tony Hampton has taken a moment for himself since just before 5 p.m. Monday. My concentration and focus has been on the men and women in this office and the family of uh, Deputy Conley and how we're going to get through this. Deputy Caleb Conley was shot and killed on Monday during a traffic stop on I-75. The funeral service has been scheduled for next Thursday. Tony Hampton has never before had to bury one of his deputies. You learn how to deal with it you just because you have to deal with it. There's, not, there's no choice not to deal with it. Hampton said he's been contacted by others in law enforcement who have experience dealing with this type of tragedy. The Kentucky Sheriff's Association has been a big help too, he said. So have the people of Georgetown. They have came together for us. I mean, done so many things. There's so many gifts and cards in there. Food, donations have been coming in. I don't know how to put it, but we live in a good place. A place that's been emotionally torn apart since Monday. A sheriff trying to make sense of one of the more senseless things he's ever dealt with. Since this happened uh, Monday evening, you know, I've sat at home when I could get home and just sat and thought, is there anything I can pull out of this that could be positive that we could learn from? Maybe there is, but first, maybe Deputy Conley's boss deserves a few more moments like this. I'll find the right time to grieve and, and I'll do that at the right time. In Scott County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.